The Bugatti Veyron EB 16.4 is a mid-engine sports car designed and developed in Germany by the Volkswagen Group and manufactured in France by Bugatti and being so named after the racing driver Pierre Veyron. Join me in this video as I build and review the Airfix quick build construction kit of this high performance vehicle. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. This video was chosen by you, the community, in a recent poll on my channel. Although not strictly a scale model kit, the majority of those voting were interested in seeing this video. Thanks to everyone who voted. The quick build line of model kits is a more recent addition to the Airfix catalogue, with the first examples dating back to around the year 2012. Before we begin, Airfix recommends this product to those aged 5 years and older due to the presence of small parts. The box comes with a rather eye-catching orange and blue aesthetic. An image of the Veyron takes up the majority of the front of the box and a smaller exploded image shows the style of construction. It appears from first glance that the parts come pre-painted or coloured as some text on the front says, no glue, no paint, just build. As you can see from the price tag, the recommended retail price is £13 at the time this video was made. The rear of the box contains another exploded image of the construction kit and various specifications about the actual Bugatti Veyron. I found these a little hard to understand, having to decipher and interpret the images in order to understand what the actual fact was. It's interesting to note that a flying hour token is also included with this set. These tokens can be redeemed against more model kits if you're a member of the Airfix Club. Although the box artwork is very eye-catching, I do feel that the box itself is made from quite thin cardboard and is not as sturdy as the material used in the more traditional kits in the Airfix range. Moving on to the contents of the box. Inside you'll find a small sheet of self-adhesive stickers, which adds some colour and detail to the model. The stickers appear well printed, if a little simple. Also you'll find a double-sided A3 instruction sheet, which is printed in full colour with easy to follow exploded diagrams. One side of the instruction sheet contains an image of some of the other products in this range that you might want to add to your collection. A clear plastic bag contains the 34 Lego style components of this construction kit. As I progress through the build, I will inevitably compare it to a Lego set, as that is what it is most similar to. The parts are well moulded and some feature a reasonable amount of detail, but they don't seem to be quite the same quality as a standard Lego brick. Also, during construction I noticed that the clutch which is the force that holds the blocks together, isn't as strong as I would like, and parts may at times fall off when the model is being handled. The construction of the model is fairly straightforward, and I found that the overall construction took less than 20 minutes. Following the instructions, you start off by adding stickers to the steering wheel and front grille of the car. Next, the tyres are added to their respective wheels. Care needs to be taken here as the rear wheels and tyres are bigger than the front ones. An easy step to mix up if you're not careful, but not difficult to fix either. I found that I did not struggle with any part of this build, although the fit of some of the parts was questionable at times, particularly that of the windscreen as it didn't quite seem to sit properly, but it wasn't that noticeable. Whilst you watch me finish building the kit, I'll tell you a little bit about the real Bugatti Veyron. The car is named after Pierre Veyron, a Bugatti development engineer, test driver and company race driver who, along with co-driver Jean-Pierre Wumil, won the 1939 24 Hours of Le Mans while driving a Bugatti. The EB refers to Bugatti founder Ettore Bugatti and the 16.4 refers to the engine 16 cylinders and 4 turbochargers. The original version was manufactured between 2005 and 2011 and has a top speed of 253 mph. Whilst a later production model made after 2012 
holds the world record for the fastest open-top production sports car with a maximum speed of 254 miles per hour. With a base price in excess of £1 million, it's also one of the most expensive road legal cars in the world. This being said, the supposed production cost of each Veyron is £5 million, which, if true, means that Volkswagen make a loss on each one they sell, but due to the technical expertise and publicity that this car has gained for them, it probably makes up for it. At this point, the final step is to apply the remaining stickers. They peel off the backing paper easily and adhere to the model well, representing details such as the front grille, number plates and lights. And that's all there is to it. The model took less than 20 minutes of construction time and provides a reasonable representation of the real Bugatti Veyron. I've got my reservations about this kind of model, as I'm sure it's meant to be an introduction to scale modelling, but I feel it's more of an introduction to the Airfix brand rather than the actual hobby. It seems to me that Airfix are trying to cash in on the Lego style construction kit popularity, but from my experience, the transition between Lego and scale modelling is quite a big one. The Ravel Snap Kits would be a better transition as they introduce you to more elements that are familiar to scale modellers, such as sprues and cements, etc. But being able to achieve good results without too much painting practice. The model is reasonably sturdy when constructed and would hold up to some rough play. But as previously mentioned, the plastic is not as tough as I would expect it to be and I feel that if it's played with too roughly, elements of the model could bend or snap. The clutch isn't the best either and you may find that it needs reassembling a number of times if dropped or stood on. As far as detail goes, it's reasonable, with some interior and engine details, but mostly the model relies on the stickers to add a bit more colour to the model. I'm not sure if this kit is meant to be to any particular scale, as I couldn't find one on the box or on the Airfix website. Perhaps the retail price of £13 is a little expensive, particularly considering the short amount of time it took to construct, but I imagine for a child there would be an element of play value after it has been assembled, especially with the good free-rolling characteristics of the wheels. So, in conclusion... I have my reservations about this kind of product and its suitability as an introduction to the hobby. Perhaps I'm a bit cynical and it actually sparks the imagination of the younger generation to then take up a chew of cement and paintbrush and start their first real scale model kit. I'd be interested to know how many modelers were introduced to the hobby as a result of this line of kits. So if you got started on these kits, let me know in the comments below. All in all, it's not a bad product. I'm just not sure I'm entirely convinced of the concept. As always, let me know what you think of my build and the finished product in the comments below. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other kits you'd like to see me build on my channel, so feel free to post that too. All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe in order to see more content and click that notification button to help support the channel. Feel free to share this video with your family and friends and you can connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.